Welcome to Learners Planet Children. Today we will study about light and shadow. So children, what is actually a light and a shadow? Yes children, you must be knowing about the sun. How sun looks like? Yes. See in the picture. The sun looks like a big ball of fire. It gives us light. And the sun helps us to see the world around us. So children, we can say that sun helps us to see during the daytime. So children, during daytime, sun helps us to see. But do you know children, what gives us light at night when there is no sun? Yes, we can get light from the other sources like electric bulbs, tube lights, torches, burning candles or the lanterns. So at night there is no sun but we can get light from all these sources. Now children, we will study about the light and shadow. Children, we need light to see the objects around us. And children, we also know that we cannot see in the dark. So children, sun gives us light to see the objects. But when there is no sun, then we get the light from the sources but children can we see in the dark? No. Children you can see in this picture it is showing that the sun rays are falling on the earth and the sun rays gives us light to see the objects. So children, we were talking about the light and the shadow. Can we see in the dark? No. We cannot see in the dark because there is no light in the dark. So children, have you ever noticed a dark patch on the ground following you when you walk in the sun? Yes, you must have seen 
that something dark patch follows you while you are walking so what is this dark patch yes this dark patch is called a shadow so now we will study about shadow children what is a shadow a shadow is a dark patch formed when a thing does not let the light to pass through it so this dark patch which does not let the light to pass is called a shadow so children always remember that a shadow can be formed on the ground a floor and a wall and also at many places so children a shadow can be formed on the ground a wall and a floor children shadows are always formed on the opposite side of light so children here we will see something very interesting for example this is a torch this is a star shaped card and this is its shadow so how does its shadow forms a torch light shines on to a star shaped card and then because of the light of this torch a shadow is formed on the screen behind the card so children did you understand this example same way using your hands you can make interesting shadows on the wall you can make interesting shadows like a dog a snake a bird a deer etc so children how long is a shadow yes we are going to see one interesting example so children you can notice that when you go out in the sun in the early morning just look at your shadow what happens see the picture yes when you go out in the sun in the morning we can see a long shadow of ourselves secondly when you go out in the sun at noon that is 
after 12 o'clock just look at your shadow just see in the picture what happens your girl is standing at noon time so the shadow which has been formed here is very small now children notice that when this girl goes out in the sun in the evening after 4 o'clock after 4 p.m. what happens yes we can see that the shadow is long so what you noticed children that shadows in the morning and in the evening that we saw are long while the shadows at noon are the shortest so children did you got this is it clear always remember that shadows in the morning and in the evening are long while the shadows at noon are the shortest children I hope you enjoyed this session and learned about the light and a shadow thank you children